Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, and if this is your first time with us, it's good to see you, thanks for joining us, and happy Easter everyone, and that's what we're doing today. We're doing an Easter cocktail, more specifically an, an Easter punch, uh, you know, something that you can make a big batch of and serve maybe seven to eight people for when you want to host your your Easter brunch on Sunday or Monday or whenever you want to you wanna have it. Um, so that's what we're doing today, guys. It's going to be the Golden Gobbler uh, Cocktail Punch for Easter. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so some of the stuff you're going to need for this uh, particular punch, the Golden Gobbler uh, Cocktail Punch, first of all, you need some sort of vessel to serve it out of. I'm going to use my pitcher. If you do not have a pitcher, you can always use a punch bowl or some sort of jug with a, with a spigot on it, uh, something that people can use as a, as a community drinking vessel. So that's kind of important for this one, you guys. But as far as the ingredients go, I'm just going to move this. You're going to need two cups of black tea. So I'm just using regular uh, Tetley brand. The tea is just steeping right now. Um, and for every, uh, for every cup of tea, we're going to go uh, with one cup of water. So, you know, instead of using little jiggers today, we're going to be using these guys <laughs> as our jigger because we're making, we're making a punch. It's going to be pretty big, right? <clears throat> and then for alcohol, your main spirit you're going to use is bourbon. Just good old Jim Beam today. And we're going to use uh, lemon concentrate. Now, usually I like to use fresh lemon, but for the amount of juice that we're going to need for this, um, I would have to squeeze like a dozen lemons, and I don't want to waste that much fruit. So we're just going to use the concentrate today, and then we're going to use one bottle of ginger beer. And then we're going to put a little sweet and sour in to taste. So depending on how much the water has diluted the tea and the lemon and the ginger beer, Put as much sweet and sour in it, you guys, as you feel you want it. And then because it's Easter, we're going to add a little splash of blue curacao just to, um, you know, just, just to give it that little bit of color. And then we're going to garnish the pitcher, the inside of the pitcher, with uh, some fresh lemons and limes. And uh, yeah, yeah, so there's quite a few things going on here, but um, it should be really, really interesting. And then we're going to taste it after because I've never tried this punch before. So. This is going to be the Golden Gobbler Cocktail Punch. Let's get to mixing, guys. And there you have it, you guys. There is the Golden Gobbler Cocktail Punch. And I must admit, I thought it would look a little bit more festive. It kind of came out looking a little bit like swamp water <laughs> um, with the grin. But I guess, I guess this is kind of an Easter color. You think of like, when I think of Easter colors, I think of like, uh, like mini eggs, those pale blues, pinks, uh, and, and greens as well. Although I've seen other drinks look like this that were not Easter themed drinks. But Still a good idea for hosting a Sunday brunch, whether it's on Easter or, or any time of the year, really, but especially for Easter. So let's pour a glass. I garnished my glass with a little slice of lime and see how it tastes, guys. Okay. Okay. 
I could see how you could want to have this for a brunch because it is very citrusy and it does kind of remind me of a mimosa in that regard because you got the lemons, you got the limes uh, with the sweet and sour, and then you, you have the tea. So it, it's kind of like a, a very, um, it's like a very, very sweetened tea with bourbon in it. <laughs> That's basically what it tastes like. Um, I saw some other recipes where you could actually add honey to this as well, which would probably add even more sweetness and, well, would definitely add more sweetness, but um, uh, another depth of flavor. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. I wasn't sure how well the honey would mix uh, when I actually go to make the, the actual pitcher, so I didn't want to overdo it. So I adjusted the recipe a little bit, but basically what it tastes like to me, guys, is a chilled tea with lots of citrus in it and, and bourbon. You know, you, you get the bourbon. But you definitely need that, uh, that sweet and sour, guys, because without it, it would be too citrusy. It'd be very, very sour. But with that, that sweetness that you add to it, and the blue curacao helps as well. Blue curacao is very, very sweet, even though we didn't add a whole lot of it. But that's the thing with blue curacao is you don't need a lot of it. Mostly, you add blue curacao just because you're trying to get a certain look. Like, prior to the blue curacao, this thing basically just looked like, um, you know, it basically just looked like iced tea. But once you put it in, it gives it that green tint that kind of makes it look like, you know, that Easter sort of pale green. But that's basically what it is, guys. It's a citrusy chilled tea with bourbon in it. And I could totally imagine myself drinking these with like an Eggs Benny brunch or a stack of pancakes or something like that. A really good alternative to mimosas and a good way to make uh, a large community drink that, you know, you could serve easily. A dozen people at least one drink out of a pitcher this size so that's that's what that is guys that is the golden gobbler um cocktail punch really good really citrusy really really subtle tea citrus sweetness and great for a sunday brunch guys and there you have it guys there is the golden gobbler cocktail punch that we did today a uh, really cool drink Really easy to make and, and great for Easter and, and great for any time, really, if you plan on hosting some friends for uh, a breakfast or a brunch. Really, really good. And that's all I got for you guys today. I uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun mixing this guy for you today. Hopefully, we'll do more uh, punches and pitcher punch bowl type videos in the future. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Let us know what you thought. And uh, make sure you're always drinking responsibly out there, guys, okay? Cheers, happy Easter, and have a great week. Take care.